Noah is gonna be with us for about two weeks. I wasn't really thinking about that when I built it. Mmm, if you guys could smell right now. You're coming too. What started as a dream is now our reality. Six years ago, we poured her ballast, raised every frame, cut every plank, and named her Red Aviva. Ready for life back on the ocean, this year we're determined yeah. to set sail. Did you look at that? I'd say that's the making of a fine cruising vessel. <laughs> We're salt and tar, and this is our life. We're happy to share, and thanks for joining us. Kind of a cloudy, rainy, cold day today, so um, I'm back inside, and I'm laying down some more of that cherry on the council, and uh, yeah, just gonna keep ticking away at this. Hopefully I can get a good chunk of it done. The cabin sole is what we sailors call the floor, and ours is an epoxied plywood base that Garrett is now planking with Bing Cherry, handed down to us from another Bueller builder and friend. I'm making good progress. I've got about six runs. Um, at least for the bulk of the uh, cabin sole down here up to that guy. Then I've kind of stopped up here. I'm gonna do like this section in one go and then I'll do that whole section in another one and then I'll do inside the head and then I'll come back and I'll do this whole area. It's coming along nicely. Um, I think once I, once I clean it up and sand it and then put a coat of uh, whatever I end up putting on it, I think it's gonna look pretty sweet. I'm just gonna keep going with this while I got daylight. Garrett's numbering and setting aside the planks for the hatches, and he'll do those separately. Also handed down to us is this teak sink from another previous neighbor in the boatyard, Carl. What's with Google? Thanks to Carl and our new volunteer, Noah, it's finding a home in the head. How close are we to square? <laughs> well, Don't tell anyone. We're, we're not <laughs> parallel, but it'll work. <laughs> Noah's joined us all the way from Pennsylvania to lend a hand. Uh, inch discrepancy over that. You know, I wasn't really, you know, thinking about that when I built it. I was just uh, thinking there needs to be a wall here and yeah. a wall over there, and that's just kind of what happened. You weren't thinking about your sliding retractable sink at the time? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Noah's sinking his teeth into the there's no right angles on a boat premise of marine carpentry with his first boat project, making our sliding sink. We get him acquainted with the bunker, tools, lumber, etc., well, Scarrett and I gear up to make the mizzen pin rails. If you ever need to get long wood out from under here, this leg just gets out of the way. There's also a trap saw. Well, I think on the lower side is better because 
you've got short little munchkin legs. Hi. And you're small. Hi. I'm a big girl. For you to be able to um, like sweat the halyards and stuff. Like at my hip level is pretty, yeah, cause pretty good. You're too low, cause and it comes the deck comes up a little. If it's like right here, stern. then that's still like you can sweat and lean into it, and mm -hmm. then you don't want it to be too low because then you're gonna pull. So something like that. How does it feel for you? Not too Good low? For me. Not too low though? No. Okay. Ever worked much with Port Orford Cedar? No. Smells so good. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's nice. Here's your sink. Woohoo! Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah, I have yeah sure. Um, so, like, these walls are not you know, parallel. Mm -hmm. So you'll see how we're kind of snug out here. <laughs> When we get back to the back, there's all this space. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking of just taking it off of this wall on the right. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll be fixed on there, which will work out pretty well when it gets back to... Uh, when it gets back to the back here, it pretty much lines up with those you know, those back corners mm -hmm. are fairly snug there and there. Mm -hmm. Do you think you would want it to continue back to fill those spaces? Um, I don't, I don't see it as being necessary. Okay. You um, can put like a little backsplash on it to yeah. really keep stuff from rolling back there. Yeah. I'd say that's probably. Okay. And that'll help with some support across the back for the plywood too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks good to me. And then when it comes out here, do you think, like, I don't know how much movement there's going to be here with moisture and mm -hmm. just, you know, age and everything. Um, how much space do you think should be here to be, you know, allowing for movement, mm -hmm. but not making it like a bigger gap than necessary? Um, I mean, I don't think it needs to be much more than what you got there. Yeah. Um. I mean, it could be a it could be a hair more. Okay. Um. So just do like a quarter of an inch, maybe. I had a quarter would be plenty. So quarter, okay. quarter would probably be more than you three sixteenths. Yeah, three sixteenths would probably be good. Okay. And I'm thinking like on this Ford face, I could, you know, maybe some sort of like, you know, nice wood. Piece, yeah. yeah, that'll stick up a little bit too just as a lip to keep things okay. in check. Mmm, you guys could smell right now. Port Orford smells so good.
motivated by conversation down below, I was preoccupied and didn't film the final steps of the pin rails, cutting the holes, routing the edges, then sanding and oiling. Noah and I talked into the evening about interior ideas. I'm so happy he's here and enjoys visualizing as much as I do. You got a new best friend. Mornings and evenings started and ended the same way, swapping ideas and goals for the day. Noah is gonna be with us for about two weeks and his main focus is gonna be uh, interior projects. So he's already started on the head. Uh, we've talked about dinette ideas and of course, companion way stairs, which I'm sure all of you would be really excited to see come into the boat. Day before yesterday, when I was here at the boat, I got sort of lost in talking about dinette ideas that I forgot to film the last bit that Garrett did to finish the pin rails on the mizzen. And yesterday I was editing all day and nothing got filmed. <laughs> but Michael finished the ratlins on the main and got the uh, more or less the permanent jack shroud in. Uh, we might still attach it differently at the bottom and maybe even at the top, but it's uh, roped uh, or lashed around each of the rungs. So it's all nice and supported now. And now that the pin rails are done uh, on the mizzen, he can start making those. Today it's supposed to rain a little bit, so I think we're all gonna be trapped down below. Um, so Garrett, I think, is gonna get back to the main cabin sole flooring. Yesterday, Garrett got further on the cabin sole, as well as a lesson in lashings from Michael, as they worked together to secure the pin rails to the shrouds. And Noah continued on the retractable sink. He's donating a lot of his time, which is a big opportunity for us to knock out a lot of projects, and we're extremely grateful. Noah's energy, ideas, and willingness to work with ours made two weeks pass far too quickly. We're just trying to keep it simple and you know, use his help the most efficiently on just the basic things that are gonna get us to leave the dock, uh, hopefully by the end of summer.
Garrett continued on the flooring, and I switched to apprenticing for Noah. We are beginning to make the patterns for the dinette area. The seats have been there for quite some time, but now we had to make some final decisions on the storage underneath the side decks and the concept for the table. Noah made the measurements and I cut out the door skin to make the pattern. We worked around each other in tight quarters. We also worked around each other's noise and discussed many possibilities. You want to do them in the middle? Then you have to go all the way up. Run it, flip it, run it, and then split it. And landed on a hinging table that will be mounted to a bar that will also slide fore and aft to access a bookshelf underneath. Noah entertained my swoopy ideas. I wanted everything to have a curve, sort of a Dr. Seuss inspired aesthetic, but still balancing Garrett's traditional flavor. Eventually, we had a pattern and could cut out our wall. Our wall was a snug fit, but before trimming it perfect, we first had a little rebuild to do. The top on the aft seat got redesigned into the current build, so it had to come off and get recut. Now we can get to what we were. 
Now that Noah has been truly initiated through the curse of the Red of Eva rebuild, we can get back to what we started. But not today. We've run out of daylight, and although it doesn't seem like much, planning is half the battle. Yeah, it's funny with, you know, how your eye goes with the way the shear is with this. It makes it look so <laughs> weird, <laughs> but you know it's straight. Well, and it'll look better when it's on. <laughs> we all know it's straight. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth is always the optimist. <laughs> Up next, we get back to running halyards, the retractable sink, the dinette storage area, and much more. See ya next week. Pack your bags, we're out of here. I swear, I found this pack of jigsaw blades that I had. I found it like four times when I don't need it. It's in that box, I think. Is it? Is that in your hand? There it is. Did I just pick that up and put it back? <laughs> yes. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> This guy? Yeah, thank you. Everything's so sticky <laughs> with S30. Especially that. Yeah. That's very sticky. <laughs> oh, because it's a stick. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Noah's made it to the outtakes. Yeah. <laughs>